folks, ABC, always be closing. If you want the knife said, welcome to the Dennis Miller Show. Joining us, the next president of the United States of America, if we know our, if we know what's good for us, Republican congressman of Michigan and 2012 Republican presidential candidate, the website, McCotter, M-C-C-O-T-T-E-R, 2012.com, T-Mac, Thaddeus McCotter. What's up, my Hello, friend? Dennis. Will I be able to call you President T Mac when you assume the Oval Office? <laughs> you have a right to free speech. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just wondering if you would have me audit it or something. I know they throw that around. What's it like out on the road, T Mac? What are the people of that? Is it, is the interaction nice? Oh yeah, it's, it's great response in New Hampshire. Great response in Iowa. And these are places, as you know, Dennis, where the voters take their role seriously in the process. They expect candidates to come to them explain their positions, and then the sovereign people will consider them. So mm-hmm. we've had some great success, and we've actually, despite a complete, almost a complete lack of coverage by the national media and others, we're tied with some of the candidates who will be on the stage at the Reagan Library or points behind others. Now, what what is the deal? What is the criteria, T Mac, and uh, uh, that they ask for to get you on that stage? Because I, I find Fox to be a pretty obviously I work there, but I, I don't think they're in the shutting people out business. What what do you have to get to before they allow you to participate? Well, for the Ames Straw Poll, the Republican Party of Iowa said that if you were in the straw poll, you'd be in the debate. Fox uh, vetoed that. No pun intended. We submitted our data showing we met one percent. And ironically, despite the fact they rejected it, uh, their own poll against the announced field that they put out the day after the deadline showed that we were at 1%. Hmm. So that's water under the bridge. The new one is MSNBC's Reagan Library debate will be a 4% standard. Now, the irony is they gave people a chance to get that uh, in one of eight polls. But now the polls that came out today from Quinnipiac show us tied with people who will be on the stage, again, or points behind others, and yet we'll still be shut out of that. Uh, by the way, that's the first I've heard. The the uh, the one at the Reagan Library will be honchoed by MSNBC. Yep, the irony. Ah, uh, there's. Is there anybody they hate more outside of Sarah Palin and George W. Bush than Ronald Reagan? Who who's the moderator at that one? It, it's. Uh, I don't know who the moderator is going to be. All I know is that their criteria will allow people. In that uh, now we're currently tied with. You know how this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just listen. I got waylaid there. I can't believe that cool cat I've met over at the library would have the uh, MSNBC come in there because it's an- antithetical to everything. Yeah. Anyway, uh, everybody's accommodating on my site. So what are you pitching, uh, T Mac? When you go out, do your little stump thing. Eh, that's disparaging. Do your stump thing here. Tell me what you like to hit in the first three notes uh, when you're talking to the people. And we're talking to Thaddeus McCotter once again. The web- website, Thaddeus McCotter, and that's M-C-C-O-T-T-E-R 2012.com. What the three notes resonate in your stump speech? Uh, the big three notes are to restructure government, not just cut it for the 21st century, mm-hmm. uh, fix the failed Wall Street bailout banks so we can get the economy moving, and defend America from our enemies, be they terrorists, tyrants, or communist China. Well, let's go to number two. Flesh that out a little more. What do you mean by fix them? Uh, fix them, to me, would be cutting them off from any future help. I, I just don't... What, what do you think? Yeah, you have to do that. You have to make it clear that there'll be no more uh, too big to fail. You have to make it clear that there's a set time to recapitalize. You also have to go in and make sure that the leverage limits are such they never collapse again, segment off the foreign subsidiaries, uh, so they have to be treated under U.S. law. Because if they don't, as you know, because of the failure of the Wall Street bailout, we're going to continue to see credit contract in the United States, which is something that we're seeing uh, that was akin to Japan in the 1990s, and we're seeing the same mistakes starting to be made in Europe again. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, when you look at the rest of the GOP field, and I know nobody uh, is, is nobody is specific under Thaddeus McCotter than Thaddeus McCotter. Who else is resonating with you? Anybody? I mean, and nobody's putting forth the comprehensive package you are at this point, but who, who else makes sense to you at, at this point? Well, I'm, I'm so focused on trying to get my own message out, despite a lot of the obstacles that we're seeing. Mm-hmm. I think that that's what we're seeing, and a lot of the same things that you talk about that we're seeing within the candidates, as they seem to be in many ways, somewhat on the same page with a lot of the things, but they're not going into the specifics or the or the issue matrix that I'm talking about. Right. 
So it's a question of how you get that through, and you just have to continue to plug away with real voters and hope to continue to move numbers despite, again, uh, the absence of national coverage. That's the fo- that's what you get with Tmax, folks. There's no like to be revealed package here. This isn't a cliffhanger at the end of a season of Dallas. Tmax got his thing up. You want to read it, then it comes down to whether you want to vote for him or not. But it's all right there, mccotter 2012com And let's face facts, in, in a, met, a metier that's basically obfuscative to begin with, just the fact that T-Mac comes out and says, here's what I got. Do you want it or not? I, I, I admire him for that. It's always so well thought out. What's a, This could be a bloodbath in Congress this, uh, this fall, isn't it, man? I thought that we made some good, uh, some good hay. Uh, I thought that uh, Tammy Faye Boehner did a good job there during the spring. What's the fall look like? Hatfields and McCoys, right? Yeah, pretty much. The differences are in place, and you're going to see the Democrats continue to argue for the failed policies of higher taxes, more regulations, more government spending, and it's not going to work. The Republicans are going to continue to hold firm. But I would also hope that the Republicans in our package of regulatory reforms, especially with the Bank of America situation pending out there, is that we really seriously go into trying to fix the failed Wall Street bailout banks. Now, again, this is something I've talked about from the beginning, but you run into the human problem. A lot of people who voted for the Wall Street bailout are loath to admit that it didn't work or that more work has to be done. Uh, to actually fix the problem so that it doesn't continue to drag on the economy. Mm-hmm. But like you said, Dennis, I'm going to keep pounding away at that because I'm not going to be like Bobby Ewing walking out of the shower when you wake up. No, of course <laughs> not. But he will he will show a certain alacrity swimming in the depths when he does the Patrick uh, Duffy man from Atlantis <laughs> stroke, which if you haven't seen T-Mac do that, that in and of itself, reason to elect him our next president. McCotter 2012com is the website. Folks, we're watching the Belmont now. You know the race goes on forever. We're in the back stretch. You got two people out front, one segues into the peloton, and then all of a sudden you start seeing somebody in the red silks break out, and they're coming to the head of the street. And you're thinking, who in the hell is that horse moving at the speed of light? That is T-Mac. So keep an eye on him because uh, when we get to that furlong pool, it all gets very interesting. Thank you, T-Mac. We appreciate your time today. Thanks, Dennis. All right. Later, Gator. Thaddeus McCotter might be our next president. I like the fact that I can still make.